Hello, and today I want to share with you little acts of decluttering. My name is Rachel and I do videos all about decluttering, minimalism and my no spend year. And I will link up some videos and playlists up above for you to have a look at if you want some other things. Um, but today I wanted to share with you some little acts of decluttering. So having time to declutter is one of the biggest reasons why people struggle to get started. It could be that you're so overwhelmed that you find it difficult to know where to start, what room, how much, how little to do, and you feel like it's gonna take far too long and you do not have the time to commit to it. So my suggestion is that you start small and to do little acts of decluttering that help you to create a decluttering habit. So to do this, I'm suggesting little acts of decluttering. The idea is that you try and do these little acts of decluttering in your daily life so you're creating habits and you're slowly chipping away at the clutter that is overwhelming you. So each of my ideas are short ideas that you could have a go at in different days, different ways and find a way that suits you. So I'm going to try and get you to think about different habits that will allow you to declutter at a reasonable rate that works well for you. So my first suggestion is that you start with a 5-10 to 10 minute timer and that you go around uh, either an area or around your house and just spend that amount of time finding things that you could donate, sell or put in the rubbish or recycle. My next suggestion is that you clear a surface. So this could be a bedside table, it could be a windowsill, it could be just the kitchen side. Just find one area and see if you can have a go at clearing the items off that area. So next I would like you to see if you can have a donation box. This could be a box that you just have in one particular place in your house and when you come across items that you think you no longer need and could be donated they can go into that box and when that box is full you can try and sell or donate those items. Next is to grab a bin bag and just go around your house and find any items that are broken, that are rubbish or items that can be recycled and get rid of those immediately. Next is to look for duplicate items. You're going to find lots of these in your wardrobe and in your kitchen. So any items that are duplicates that you have more than one of, you could get rid of um, the extra items. When you finish a book, decide straight away if it's a book that you're likely to read again, one that you can donate to a friend that you think they might enjoy, or one that you can donate to your local library. Try and get in the habit of making those decisions as soon as you have finished reading the book so that you're immediately making that decision and you're dealing with that product. When you're going through the laundry, don't forget to make sure that you are looking out for any worn items, items that you don't love or don't enjoy, or items that are not fitting correctly. When tidying away toys or various other items, get into the habit of looking at any broken items and getting those out straight away. You can also think about items that aren't being used or aren't played with. Are they ones that are just thrown out and just chucked to the side or are they ones that are actually played with? They're not ones that are played with. Do you have anyone that you could donate them to or could you sell them on? When you're going through any makeup, when you're putting your makeup on, could you go through and have a look at a couple of items that maybe have gone past their dates? Quite often they have a like a month date on the underneath, so they tell you whether or not you should have them for 6 months, 12 months, 24 or 36. Especially eye products, is it an eye palette that you've had for a really long time and actually that's probably not a good idea to keep them after their date because your eyes are really sensitive so having out of date items is probably not that good for you. Next up is to get in the habit of using up products. So if you are somebody that normally has about five different shampoos in the cupboard, don't buy any more until you have used up the products that you have got. Until you're on the end of your last one, you don't buy that item. So get into the habit of using up all those things that you need to. This could also go for the food cupboard as well. So have you got loads of tins? Do you actually use them or could you get into the habit of using them up so you just have what you need for the coming weeks and months rather than having back stock. Next, if you have a drawer that you cannot close, it is too full, can you have a look at seeing if you can clear out that drawer or just get enough items out that you could donate so it allows you to close that drawer again. So that doesn't mean you have to necessarily go through the whole drawer and just on about taking out enough to be able to close it. That just takes a little bit off the edge and it just keeps you in that mindset of decluttering a little bit at a time. When you're cooking and you're stirring and doing things like that, is there a shelf at a time that you could go through and just double check that you haven't got anything that's expired or anything that needs using up that you could then potentially use that week. So get in the habit of just going through and checking maybe one shelf each time you cook 
and seeing if there's anything that is no longer needed. And kind of linking to that, can you then plan meals with items that you need to use up? If you have subscription services and you're going through and you're going to watch a film, double check that you don't have any DVDs of the same ones. Are there ones that you could then declutter if you know that you've got access to the subscription service? Do you need to keep that DVD? I know lots of people have already kind of got into the process of getting rid of DVDs because of the subscriptions, but some people are still kind of I'm an annoying about whether or not to. So that might be an opportunity to think, okay, actually I can get them elsewhere, so I don't need to have the physical copy. When you're reaching for towels or bedding, could you go through and just check whether or not they are ones that you like? Are they ones that are worn through? Are they ones that you need to then get rid of? So just have a look at items as you're going through and using them. Are there any towels that are just not feeling quite right that you don't want to use anymore? Are there ones that you notice that you never use? You always use the same towels. So these are all my little acts of decluttering that you could do um, a little bit at a time to help create those daily habits of decluttering. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe down below if you want to see more videos on minimalism, decluttering and my no spend year. Take care, see you soon.